Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where today we're taking a look at the graphs feature. Uh, this is available to you under the tools menu or by using the Alt G shortcut. So I'm just going to access the graphs here with the Alt G shortcut um, and what you get is you get these eight different graphs you can look at. Uh, the first off is if you have a temperature sensor connected it will keep a track of the temperature uh, just as it goes along um, if you move your mouse to a particular point it will show the temperature at that point of time so you can see this is going a bit up and down at the moment uh, with the last one being 3.8 and that's just how it goes that's your ambient temperature with an external sensor or a focus motor with a temperature sensor built into it next is the humidity uh, which is exactly the same sort of thing if you have the sensor connected I don't have one at the moment um, well I have one but it's not supported by APT come on Ivo <laughs> and uh, hopefully it will be in the future but that'll give you your humidity readings uh, the EXIF data the EXIF temperature is taken from uh, your EOS raw images and as you take images it will just plot the temperature reported by the sensor of your camera that's contained in your EXIF data um, then you have dew point which again requires an external sensor if it supports it you will have the dew point graphed across here uh, CCD temperature well this is this little line just down the bottom here um, <laughs> there's not much you can see in that because it's, if you're using cooling it stays at the same temperature if you're not using cooling of course it will change if, you know, if you're using a planetary camera instead or whatever uh, then you'll get your big changes but at the moment it's sitting on minus 10 and that's where that line's going to pretty much stay uh, your CCD power if you're using a cooler um, that requires the power for it it will display the power usage as it goes through the evening in there and uh, then you have the guide uh, which is exactly the same one as you get on the summary tab and in the gear tab um, whether you display it this way I mean it just makes it a floating image and unlike the others you can go back to a certain point and see what your guiding was like uh, by up the top up there so that's what it one it does and the last one is if you have a sky quality meter either a unihedron or a uh, an eagle uh, four or five with a sensor on it that's supported uh, they go in here so that's what you'll get in here but that's it for the graphs just some way to monitor your equipment a bit more and the and the uh, mainly the um, conditions you're shooting in and it's just something handy if you want to have a look at them so that's it for the graphs and I'll end this video now nice quick short one and I'll see you next time I wish everyone clear skies and take it easy bye